Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. And as you guys know, for the last week, Sherry and I have been here in Colorado visiting my mother. Hello. Uh, we've been here with my brother, sister-in-law. It has been an excellent week with everyone together. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to do with my mom while we're here is a mother Q&A video. So I asked you guys on Twitter and the Leg Life Facebook page to ask questions that you would want to hear my mom answer. And we have questions here that I'm going to read. You don't know these questions. I don't. And uh, you ready? We're going to start easy. Okay. My friend Kara, who lives in Georgia, asked, what is something that Adam wouldn't eat as a kid? Kara. Um, zucchini. There was a dish that I made. Um, it was an Alfredo and pasta and vegetables. Um, and he would pick the zucchini out. So I started grating the zucchini. And with the Alfredo sauce, you can't really tell. But I'd still chop up some zucchini so he could pick it out. <laughs> and he'd go back for more, so zucchini. <laughs> total, total deception. Uh, the second question comes from my friend Joel, who lives in Washington State. Joel actually has a couple questions. The first question, do you like me more with or without my beard? Hi, Joel. With. I think I like it with. I agree. Uh -huh. It's growing back, which I'm glad. And Joel's second question, uh, did you have a nickname for me when I was a kid? Hmm. I actually don't remember. I tell you, when I saw Joel ask this question, I don't remember one. No, just Adam Joseph. Yeah, that's <laughs> Joseph. <is> necessary. <laughs> Joseph is my middle name, and I unfortunately think I heard that a few times. Uh, question number three. This is from our friend Monique in California. Um, Monique's question: Personality traits and quirks that have been consistent about Adam uh, from the time I was a child until adulthood. Hi, Monique. Uh, you've always had a big heart. Mm -hmm. You've always had a wonderful sense of humor. Um, those have been consistent. Quirks. No, I'm not thinking of any. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Next question. No, we're good. No. <laughs> Next question. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good answer. Uh, so next question, this is from my friend Colin who lives in Portland. And I'll have you know, the reason we're doing this video is that Colin did a video like this with his dad when they went and visited uh, his family in Texas recently. You told me. And we just loved the video so much that I thought, we've got to do this with my mom. So here's Colin's question. Uh, it's a great question. What's the best piece of advice that you can give to parents about, pre about preparing children for life after they leave home? I think probably, hi Colin, <laughs> I think probably um, the confidence to know they can stand on their own two feet. My kids always knew that. Colin did have a second question. I'll have you know, this is a, this is a question that is kind of an ongoing discussion in our friend group. This is a big one, Mom. Waffles or pancakes? Which do you prefer? I prefer IHOP multi-grain and nut pancakes. There we go, very specific answer, good job. Next question is from our friend Judy, uh, who lives in Alaska. Um, what were your most important goals, prayers, or both, raising your son? You can say son. Hi Brian Judy. I. Um, I wanted them to feel loved. I um, had a pretty bizarre, abusive childhood myself, and I was bound and determined that you kids would have a childhood and you would always know you were loved. Success. <laughs> uh, the next question, this is a little bit lighter. This is from Matt Beers. You're familiar with Matt. Hi, Matt. <laughs> his, <laughs> his question, at what point did you know that you had messed him up and did you make any attempt to correct the issues? What did he do messing up? Um, it's kind of like quirks. You just can't think of anything, can you? Um, There's actually quite a few that we shouldn't mention on <laughs> camera, actually, is the real answer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So next question. Uh, this is from Eddie, who uh, asked this question on the Leg Life Facebook page. Uh, Eddie said, hi, Adam. My wife, Amy, and I love the Leg Life vlogs. Thank you. Um, our question for your mom is, in what ways do you think Adam is like you, and in what ways is he not like you? Great question, Eddie. Hi, Eddie and Amy. I think we're we're very... We're very similar spiritually. We're very different religiously. Um, That's a good answer. 
we um, now that he's grown, we like a lot of the same foods. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We did. We, we did not like a lot of the same foods growing up. I think I've talked on this vlog about my mom's love for Ovaltine and my absolute <laughs> hatred of Ovaltine. Um, when you really discovered what chocolate milk yeah, was. Yeah, I thought Ovaltine was chocolate milk. Syrup. Oh man. Um, uh, did that answer the that question? Answers, I think it answers the question. Next question is from Kathy, uh, also from the Leg Life Facebook page. Another very important question. Do you watch the Leg Life vlogs? Hi, Kathy. Yes, I do. And I read all of your comments. <laughs> uh, one thing I'll say, Sherry and I joke about this all the time. Sherry's right over here. It's why I motioned that way. <laughs> um, is that if we don't post a video, like if we miss a day of posting or a couple days of posting, and I see my mom call, 100% of the time, Sherry and I will look at each other, we know exactly what it's about. It's about, hey, uh, just see if you guys are okay because you haven't posted a video. So not only does she watch, but she knows our posting schedule and she lets us know when we miss some days. So in fact, I think it was yesterday, my mom said, hey, your channel's experiencing some real growth that's really exciting. But just so you know, this inconsistency is really gonna hurt it. So she's kind of our, our YouTube consultant Monday, as well. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. See, look at that, she knows. Um, so this is from our friend Teresa in Anchorage. Teresa has purchased a ton of our repurposed stuff. So she loves the art stuff that we do. We really love Teresa a lot. Uh, Teresa's question, what was Adam's favorite thing to say back in the day? Hi, Teresa. Uh, your first words all had to do with football. <laughs> uh, Sounds right. Mm -hmm. uh, tell, the, tell the story. Oh, no, I don't. You, you, oh, could gosh. I tell it then? Do you want me to tell it? It's funnier when she tells it. It's a good, you guys, it's a really good story. <laughs> okay. Adam is 13 years younger than his older brother, Ronnie. And um, because of the age difference, I was determined not to make a babysitter out of Ronnie. He had his own friends, he was 13 years old, and his own schedules. And, and when Ronnie was a little under a year, or when Adam was a little under a year, John, a friend of Ronnie's, moved in with us. And then when Adam was a little over a year, I traded Friday nights, I would take Ronnie and John roller skating or to the movies or wherever they wanted to go. And Saturday nights, they would babysit for Adam. And I don't know how long it was, maybe six months into it, and I thought everything was going fine. And I was at the grocery store with Adam. And you know how on the sides of the aisles they have things that kids want? And, and I told him no, and... Um, he was insistent. Oh, Adam, I don't want to say this. Honey. I can take the story from here if you'd like. Um, <clears throat> yes. So, uh, <laughs> so I, being insistent, looked at my mother, and you said that I had like the perfect face. I mean, the situation was perfect. I looked at my mom and I said, "Suck my butt." I didn't even know he was so young. I didn't know he could say a sentence yet. Um, and it, it was the, the infliction, it was the tone of voice, it was the everything. There were people in front of me in line, people behind me in line. I was horrified. And I looked at him and said, I'm telling your mother as soon as I take you home. <laughs> I couldn't even, I couldn't acknowledge you. Couldn't you couldn't even claim me. You couldn't even claim me. Well, I got home and Ronnie and John and I had a talk. <laughs> and I learned not just that, that they were teaching him things. Oh my gosh, they were teaching him. The um, wrong words. So they'd be like, Adam, blueberry. Adam, blueberry. this is a blueberry. Uh -huh. So yeah, growing up, like not only did I know how to say suck my butt, but I didn't know what anything really circle. was. Circle. No, that's a circle. Uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> So. And, and Ronnie even, when Adam turned 30, Ronnie made a video for him, bringing that up, um, talking about being a big brother, that he wanted to give him something really unique and something that was his own, and, and he gave you a language. He gave me my own language, so that's <laughs> nice. Thanks, brother. <laughs> That's such, it's one of my it is one of my absolute favorite stories to tell because it's so uh, yeah, uh, not, yeah not one of yours probably. <laughs> All right, last question, mom. This is from Lisa, uh, my sister-in-law. She's your sister. Uh, Hi, Lisa. What did you think that I was going to be or be like when I grew up, and how have I surprised you? I thought when you were very little, I thought you were going to um, 
to run heavy equipment. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, you moved so much dirt. <laughs> Do you guys remember those like yellow Tonka like front end loaders, like the metal dump trucks and stuff? You said that I would just play for hours in a sandbox with those. Oh man, and you had a wooden crane, uh, a custom nice uh -huh. wooden crane that, yes. Oh, and another story, we moved into a place that had a really awesome kids play area in the back, a wooden, um, swing set with you can go up the stairs a little fort there and but there were nails all in the sand underneath rusted nails that he couldn't even play in the area it's like so enticing but yeah i couldn't let you go and so i got a screen and we started screening the sands to get all the nails out of the area and i felt something metal there well probably i don't know four inches down into the sand we found a big, huge, red, rusted fire truck. You were, I don't know, two or so. <laughs> well, this kid just knew there were treasures under the ground yeah. and digging for more. Yeah. Maybe that's what got you really involved in digging the dirt road. Possibly. There was treasure under Maybe that sand. Yeah. I already found one fire truck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You must find more. Uh, in yes. what ways have I surprised you? Last part of our question. Uh, what ways have you surprised me? You know, Adam, I have... I've always known you were going to impact people I've, because you always have. I've always known, um, like I said, you, you've had a big heart your whole life mm -hmm. and I knew you were going to um, make me proud always. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not surprised because all the things you are doing, the way you engage in life, mm -hmm. it's something that um, I'm not surprised, but it warms my heart and pleases me to see both you and Sherry engaging life and making memories rather than collecting Things. I mean, you have wonder, a wonderful, beautiful yeah. home and, and wonderful things, but the important things to you are those memories that you make and the impact you have on others. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. So I'm not surprised at that. I'm very pleased at all that. I don't know what would surprise me, really. After the suck my butt story, you've got to be a little surprised at that, right? <laughs> a little a little, it's a little surprising. So you, I, had, I had a long time to raise right. you. <laughs> There's a lot of correcting that needed to be done. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Mom, thanks for answering questions. Thank you. Go ahead, I'm here. I, I was wondering about adding the allowance story. Oh, add it. This is a great story. Um, so when the kids were little, I always gave them an allowance. Every Friday, they got a dollar for however old they were. It's a pretty, pretty generous deal. Well, $10, I know, was a lot for a 10-year-old. However, when you're 10, whatever you get and is coming from me anyway, yeah. yet if it was from your money, you, I don't know, you took better care of it mm -hmm. or, um, and to learn to manage your money. And, and the deal was that once they were 18, and or out of school. As long as they were going to school, they could, they could stay home as long as they were going to school. But once they were 18 and out of school, they would start paying me an allowance. Well, I was 48 when that happened with Adam. And um, you, you balked at first, said that I couldn't <laughs> yeah, hold him to a deal he made when he was seven. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 we re up to this deal every year. Anyway, he paid me $48 every Friday. I loved getting my allowance. I know he ate more than that. He knew he <laughs> ate more right. than that. It was still a good but deal it for was me. Still, but it still got them used to paying something for themselves, yeah. you know? And, and it was, yeah. I loved getting my allowance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad as those, much as you did, probably. Yeah, I'm glad those, or that's over though. Because you're buying your own groceries. Because I'm buying my own groceries. Your own bills and yeah. Actually, it would be cheaper if I could still do that. Yeah, probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we will see you on the next Leg, Leg Life vlog. And if you are a YouTuber, uh, if you make videos here, I would love to see you do a video like this with your parents. Uh, I loved watching Colin's video. Hopefully you guys loved this, and we will see you soon. Bye.